This is our second trip to Troyan. A year earlier we visited some of the most interesting places in Troyan and around it and you can see our first trip to this video. Now we are coming from Teteven and the first place we stop is the Mineral Baths Resort of Shipkovo. This water spring have four sources, each with different types of water. We proceed further and soon we arrive in Troyan. This time the first place we see is the art gallery of Seriakova house. It is a small gallery but is more exceptional than the other galleries. Here we not only see beautiful pictures but we can also enjoy a nice chill out music as a background. This exhibition is not constant but there are regular art activities and presentations. We go down to the art club. It is established in the basement of the Syriakova house and is a nice place for relaxation for those who enjoy the art of the gallery. Trojan is famous for its Trojanska Slivova, a kind of brandy made by plums. Its quality and traditions related to this drink have made it a local landmark. And now we are in the local factory where it is produced, Trojan Vinprom. First we walk around the factory to see the producing process and enter this hall for degustation. Here we have the opportunity to try the best of the local Trojanska Slivova. We spend the night in the village of Oreshak in Nedele guest house and have our dinner and breakfast in the nearby Stranopriemnice hotel and restaurant. Now we go to our next destination, the Mountain Guides School. It is located in the village of Cherny Osam. We visit it because it is not just an ordinary school. You can see this climbing wall. This is the place where the graduating students have their exams. And now we are in the climbing hall of the school. It is open for tourists. Every Tuesday afternoon during the school time you can come here and enjoy climbing.
Just next to the school is the Natural Science Museum. Here we spend some time to see the best of the animal world in the Balkans. From here we go to Patreško, a small village with great panoramic views of the Balkan mountains. This is the guest house Nakurat. As you can see, it was built in 1752 and now is restored. Now it is turned into a great place for relaxation far from the civilization. This is a special guest house. It is not just an ordinary place to spend the night, but it offers something more, an opportunity to make a traditional orthodox bread called prosphora. Now we are in the kitchen of the guest house and the host, Mrs. Tsurova, will show us how to make it. When the bread is ready, we must eat it whole. We go to another house, just 200 meters away. This is a salt house where we can enjoy the salty environment good for health. Now it's time to go to the main range of the Balkan mountains. This is an eco trail called Jauna that leads us to the summit of the mountains. From there another trail descends to the foot of the mountains following the ancient Roman road Via Traiana that once has connected the Danube river with the Thracian plain. Finally, we are on the summit of the Stara Planina, the Balkan Mountains. This is above the tree line, about 1600 meters altitude. This area is called Central Balkan National Park. And this is the longest trail in the Balkans, one of the most popular routes in Europe, Com Emine. The trail starts from the border with Serbia and ends at the Black Sea coast. Cape Emine, following the summit of the Stara Planina. We try a bit from this route, this is what it looks like, full of stunning views everywhere. With this, our trip in the region of Trojan ends. We descend to the southern part of Bulgaria, ready for new trips soon. So, follow us in our travel adventures and subscribe to our channel Journey Beyond the Horizon for more video journeys.